What's up? So if you're familiar with my channel, I like to do like productivity kind of videos, but also merge with tech. And I think a great contender for today's video would be Chrome. Now, I would not be surprised if you haven't heard of Cron. It took a lot of digging and a lot of searching to actually find Cron. It's not very well known yet, but I think that soon it will be super well known. So Cron was actually bought out by Notion and it's a calendar app. And I've been using Notion to do a lot of my calendar tasks and like daily to-do lists, but it turns out Cron does this like 10 times better because it's actually a dedicated calendar app, whereas Notion, I kind of had to hack it to get it to work. So what's actually super nice about Cron is since it's dedicated calendar app, but it's also bought out by Notion, um, you can actually integrate Notion pages in here coming this month. Now this feature, I tried using it, it's still in beta, it doesn't work too well. But once this is available, this will be the perfect Notion companion. I like to call this Notion, but for calendars. So if you take a look at my calendar right here, this is kind of the layout of Cron. Now what I really enjoy about it is it looks like Apple Calendar, but it actually adds more functionality than Apple Calendar, at least for me. So what we can actually do is like, let's say we have to create an event. So you're gonna drag here and then drag the event to when you want it. So let's just say I have work right here. So we'll just write work. Um, and what I can do right here is add participants, which is super nice. So one of my previous participants is my friend Jack. I can send him that invite. We can do a video conferencing and actually connect that within, but that's not really as useful since the pandemic. I mean, add a location. So I'm gonna say uh, home right here. I'll just write home right there. And then we can go to my docs and I can actually add the Notion page right here. So this is where I'm saying it's still in beta. It doesn't quite work yet. I mean, Cron in total is still a beta, but you can sign up with the link down below. Um, but basically right here, add a reminder so we can remind me like 10 minutes before the event happens. You can even like do 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, yeah. And so let's say I'm all done with this. I'm going to hit send update and this will send all of the new information that I added to that event to my friend Jack and his email address. So I can actually go in here and I can change it and say work um, at office right there. And once I click off of it, it'll send the update or I could just keep editing it or choose to not send the update, um, like send without an email right here. So then I'll just update that event and he actually automatically gets alerted. So that's one feature that I really like. I know Apple calendars, you can also share events, but I feel like this is a lot easier for working with teams. What's also nice is you can change the time zone and repeat it, which I know these are like basic calendar apps, but I think that this app is very basic in the way that it's designed and its functions, but it does the basics very well. And that's what I really like about it. It's not trying to be a to-do list. It's not trying to be Notion. It's just trying to be a calendar, which is just super nice because then I can leave everything else to be done by Notion and then uh, have this for specifically calendar events. So uh, we have that. And then another cool thing is when I add another event here, we'll say work at office again. Uh, and let's say I want to share some availability with someone. So right here I have share availability. And right here, I can actually just look for available spots, highlight two or three of them, uh, even four. And I can say it'll list them out like this, which I really appreciate. It's really good for text messages and stuff like that. But I can also send the link out to someone so I can create availability. And it'll leave these snippets right here in my schedule and it'll send them a link to ask them to confirm. Like it'll give them available times. And this is like perfect because then I can go in right here and select the, all the available times and how long I want the meeting to be. So once I confirm it, I'll say 10, 15, and I'll put my, my e email right here. This is my second email, and I'll just pop that right there. Schedule that meeting, and right there, the meeting is scheduled. So now when I go back to Cron, it should pop up right here, meeting with Tommy. So it's perfect, and it like automatically does everything for me, and you can see it has my email that I've confirmed. It's super nice, because then it deletes all the other availabilities. And I feel, feel like this is one of the strongest features. I haven't seen this in a lot of calendar apps. Another thing I appreciate is you can do the number of days. So you can do like five days, four days, and it gives you a slimmed down version of the week. Cause I like to have my weekends sort of free. I mean, I still have work like my job um, on Saturdays sometimes, but what I do like is that you can slim it down. I like to only look at Monday through Friday most of the time and then worry about the weekend later. So there's a super nice view because it gives me that five day view, or you can even do as low as two days, which is something I haven't really seen in many calendar apps. I wouldn't like two days, but just in case you would, and you can even do others. So you can select up to 27 days. Like you do it like however you want. Now this view is a little messy. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could if you want to. And I feel like that's 
one of the strong suits of this app. So if you really want to get this app, I would suggest going down to that link in the description. And I don't benefit at all from it, but it's super nice uh, just to have. And once they add that notion availability, this will be essentially a calendar superpower, I think. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for me. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to drop a subscribe or a like. I make tons of like productivity tech videos. And yeah, if you want to see more, um, yeah, subscribe, like I said.